apple dumpling. The old woman is standing inside her cottage at the table. On the table, there is a lot of food. A basket filled with plums is also on the table. Let's see. Uh, yes, I have flour. Um, yes, I have sugar. Yes, I have enough of spices. But I have no apples. Now, I won't be able to make an apple dumpling for dinner without apples. Ooh, how I want an apple dumpling. All I have are these silly plums from my tree. Now, I shall have to find a way to use these plums to get some apples. Old woman takes a shawl from a hook. She places the napkin over the plums in the basket and walks to the edge of the cottage. She looks left and right as looking both ways before crossing a street. As old woman is looking left and right, several hens and geese appear. They strut, flap and squat across. Young woman follows them. She looks tired. My goodness, I've been chasing my flocks all over the hills today, old woman. I hope they did not bother you. No, my dear, they did not. They are fine. Active. My goodness, they are an active flock. Are those plums in your basket? I can smell that wonderful smell of fresh plums from here. Yes, they are my best plums. You see, I wanted to have an apple dumpling for dinner, but I have no apples. Dear me, there is nothing my family likes better than goose with plum jelly. Unless you will take a bag of it for your fine plums, they must not do without. This is the best I can offer you. Hmm. A, a, a bag of feathers for a basket for a basket of plums? Well, one pleased is better than two disappointed. Maybe I can use these feathers to get some apples. Old woman hands the plums to the young woman. Thank you, my family will be very happy. Old woman tucks a bag of feathers under her arm, smiling. Husband and wife enter carrying several baskets of flowers. They are arguing in loud voices. Old woman watches them. Cotton, straw, it is not, it's two. Look, here's one who said in our matter. Good mother, answer me this. If you are making a pillow for your grandfather's kids, don't you think the best thing stuff will be cotton? Hmm, no. I told you so. Straw is a thing and you need to go no farther in the bank for it. You have just been cheap, husband. Straw is go through to my grandfather behind when he sits down. I'm telling you, cotton is a thing. What we need? No, no. I would not serve the pillow with cotton or either with straw. What? A feather pillow is fit for a king. As for me, an apple for a dumpling. Or a bunch of flowers from your garden will serve me well. Husband and wife smile. They pull bunches of flowers from their basket and run to the old woman. Wife take the bag of feathers. They both happily skip off while laughing with each other. These flowers smell better than the hens. The geese are the feathers. A good bargain and not all of it in the, is in the basket. Good to see them smile. Young Lord appears. Why are you shouting the old woman? Oh, sorry to disturb you. A good, a fair day, a goodbye to two new friends and a good day and fair door for you, young lord. Good or bad, it is all seen to me. The court trailer has forgotten to send the ring he promised. Now I must go to my lady love with empty hands. You shall, ah, uh, you shall have a gift for your lady. Old woman, give the bunches of flowers to the young lord. A fair train is no robbery. Young Lord takes a gold chain from around his neck and places it over his old woman's neck. I never expected this. A gold chain for a bunch of flowers. Now I can go and buy all the apples in the king's market and have something left over. I must go to the town. Old woman starts to exit. Mother, her children and puppy enter and pass in front of her. They are dragging on feet, their feet on the road. They look, mother and her children look sad. What is the matter? 
Oh, we have kids in Alaska so great. And not a farthing is left in room to buy more. Ha! I can I'm eating an apple dumpling while my neighbors have not a bread. Even old woman takes a gold string from around his neck and places it over by mother's head. Little we have to give you for all you have done for us. But this puppy will keep loneliness from your house and our thanks will go with it. Puppy, puppy hugs the old woman. And mother and her children hugs the puppy and old woman. They form a dark ring and dance together. Then puppy and mother skip off, leaving mother, old woman and puppy together on the stage. Puppy! Dumpling for supper. Thank you. 